All right, let's get down to it. It's your Friday. It will be my Friday when this is up. So I guess that's all that matters. Challenge. Start. Again, we're finishing the week off with some diverse world. Maybe I'll change it up for next week. Who knows? But for now, welcome to your Friday edition of GeoGuessing. Um, oh, that was not what I was expecting to have pop up. That was uh, GIMP coming up there. Canada Way Center Port. I don't know where this is. There is a sign back here. This potentially could be Canada. The only problem is, I don't know. Anyway, how are we doing? Let's get all the usual mumbo jumbo out of the way. Uh, thanks for the watch, support, um, comments, questions, concerns, complaints. If you always have them, you know where to put them down below there. I will get back to them as soon as possible. Uh, is this, this feels like maybe central Canada, like near the border. Or Texas? Like Centerport, Canada Way. This is, hmm, exit 45. That's what the little bumper on top there is. 190. <clears throat> Let's go over this way a bit. Try to find 190. Well, the numbers are getting a lot higher, but not enough. Hmm. Um, anyway, yes, continued support. Always appreciated. Uh, please. Okay, this number is different. This number is a interesting root number that I am not familiar with. These are round. This makes me feel like we could be around here. However, I... 221. I'm not entirely sure. I almost feel like I'm pulling this out of my ass now, but I gotta, I gotta keep going until I gotta get off the road. That's what I have to do. And what I should have done is just hit home and go to that uh, exit ramp and then go from there. But nah, dog, we're too far out now. Actually, no, that was a brilliant idea. I don't know why I didn't do it. Let's get off that exit and uh, find out where the fuck we are. Come on, give me that sign. I see you up here. Come on. Centerport Canada Way. Let's get down here. Want to get... Thank you. I have a minute left. Shit. Maybe my plan wasn't uh, too well thought out. It's the 101 North. Shit. I have no idea where this is, and it's... Excuse me. Oh, <coughs> pardon me. We'll throw fall back on me here. The 101. Is it over here? Here's the 101. But I feel this is different. I'm going to click here for now, but to be completely honest with you. I, I think we're over here. The 226 thing really got me a bit confused. This is going to be a bad score this time. Like, I, this, this feels just like central Canada. I couldn't tell you exactly where. It just feels open and flat with a little bit of, oh, we were outside Winnipeg, huh? And that did not feel like it but you know also I don't know much of that part of the world it didn't look like it was going to be that uh <clears throat> close to a city cuz Winnipeg's I think it's big enough looking at this right now I feel like this could be a Norwegian port town a little tiny one or maybe Iceland <laughs> I'm in Iceland Greenland uh no this hmm this could be Iceland. I mean, these mountains. There's no trees, which is like a, a, a telltale sign that, yo, this could be 
Iceland. But anyway, weekend's coming up. What are your plans? Let's see what I'm 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 after like a month of just not being able to do it. Hiking hopefully will happen, but the couch I bought is was on hold. And now it's not on hold and they're like, "Hey, we're going to deliver it." And we'll call you Friday night and tell you when we're going to be by on Saturday for the two-hour window you're supposed to be there. And, I mean, I'm not going to say no. I just want this stupid couch just to be done with it. I'm not seeing any flags here, which I feel like all other, like, little tiny towns I've seen, at least with uh, Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, they have, like, those super long, narrow flags hanging around their houses, and I'm not seeing those here. And now I... Man, this could be Falklands. Just because I needed to list another place it could be besides Iceland. Uh, let's take a look at this sheep. The black sheep doesn't help me. Oh, there are some non-black sheep. I know that they talk about, at least in Iceland, their wild or at least unfenced sheep. Get me on this goddamn road. It's being like a sense of pride. Man, this is so tiny out here. Get me out. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe this sign would help me. No, man. This is such a super tiny village, wherever it is. Klein, that doesn't help me. A helipad? No, that, that can't be a helipad. Uh, Well, we're showing Lopra. I'm not seeing, like, any... The, the only, like... uh verbal, um, I mean, language accents I saw anything with those little accent lines, gotta, hmm, I'm not seeing them here, man, I'm very hesitant to decide where we are just yet, this is just tiny, tiny village, whatever it is, Sam Skip, doesn't help me, like, I think we gotta be, like, north-north, eh, 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 or like eh. Just because there's no trees. That's why I think Iceland. But nothing else has really helped me come up with a definitive answer past that. And I feel like I'm just really wasting time right now. <clears throat> hoping that this, uh, that truck's kind of dinged up. Show me something. Dot. Hmm. Where are we? Please. All right, I'm going to take the last 20 seconds to go this way out of town. Uh, I'm going to put Iceland, even though I feel that this is Norway. So much to the fact that I'm changing my mind and clicking Norway, although I wouldn't be surprised if it's the Faroes or like even farther up north here. Maybe in John Mayer. You know, he's rich enough. He actually bought an island. Yeah, see. Yeah, next to Pizza Corin. I mean, I, like I said, I wasn't surprised if it was that, but I just. If I had to put a little bit more stock in it, yeah, there were no trees in any of the photos, so maybe it wouldn't have been Norway. That's the thing you can slap me on the wrist for. If anything else, maybe shifting it a bit more this way. I apologize. My headache is coming back with a vengeance now. Well, I feel I know where we is now. And it's not on that side of the world. No, we're over here. Baltimore, south to Richmond. We're on the 95, near the 495. Um, that's got to be around, yep, Washington, D.C. This is 7B, north Baltimore. So we're like around here, maybe. Um, this is taking us to what? Glen. Oh God, these are words I see all the time at work, but now it's, it, it's not showing up. I gotta be like in that, the, uh, this road over here to actually see where we are. Let's get over here. Glen Arden. I, okay, that wasn't what I thought it was going to be, to be completely honest with you. Glen Arden. I mean, we're on, oh, we're getting the 704, which 
trying to narrow this down a bit more may be a bit of a problem. I gotta like super zoom in. I've only been to this part of the, well there's 7, 710. I've only been part of, to this part of the country two or three times and none in the past 20 years. Yes, I'm old. As if it wasn't blatantly obvious on the uh, previous video when I talked about cars. Uh, this is an exit 8 to the 704, so I'm on the 95 or the 495 right now, which is like maybe around here. Like these two are very much connected around here. So maybe heading north, you can get. My screen just went blank. There we go. Monitors. My, my TV sometimes does that. Yes, I'm using a TV. North to Baltimore, which is this way. We want to head south to Richmond. So maybe we're... Maybe we're around here? I don't know. 704. Like, I'm looking for that, and I'm not seeing it anywhere. Hmm. Bit of an issue. My brain is now like headache mode. You're not going to be able to process anything. I don't know where this came from. It's like I get rid of one little bit of illness and one pops right back in to take its place. <clears throat> Conveyor belt. I was doing well for a while without any sickness or cold. And then I guess I had to open my mouth and uh, it bitch slapped me. And I guess I'm paying for it now, but. We're soldiering on. Uh, what else do I have planned for this? It is a three-day weekend. Lucky me. Uh, I'm going to be help working on a deck. You know, all this adult things that I really was not looking to be doing, but it just kind of happens in your life. Like, there's people I know buy a house. They really weren't as far as, like, any man or any man in any way. And now they're just kind of like every weekend, yeah, I'm building the porch, cleaning my yard. They're just things. It's not so much, yes, there are people who are going to be looking forward to actually having to do this stuff, but I'm just going to hit guess because I don't think I'm going to narrow it down anymore and pass. Oh, fuck, we were up here. And we were at a different intersection. We're much closer than we were in the previous one. And New Zealand? This could be. Uh, they're just things that happen. Like, it's, it, if it's the moral of any story, it's that you very easily can just have everything sneak up on you. You think you got it all, like, ironed out and planned. Like, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. Next thing you know, 20 years have gone by, and you're like, oh, fuck, this is where I am now. It's that game I used to play as, as a kid of, like, all right, can I picture where I am in 10 years? And... Why stay on this road? A lot of the time I would not have been able to guess this is what I'm doing now, but you know, some other people can. I'm not one of those, but yeah, I'm going to stick with this part of the world for now. Really leaning New Zealand here. <clears throat> I should have looked at that car if I was smart to see if I could see the steering wheel on whatever side of the uh, side of the car. Can I see a, it's a giveaway. That doesn't help me. Uh, yeah, this is very much a British colony road. Or that's a lot of sheep. And then I guess that's the other telltale sign of where you are in the world is, yo, they got a lot of sheep in uh, New Zealand if you weren't sure. If you were not aware. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, Eastern Otahu, Ojai. Man, now Clifton. Is that where Tony lives? Let's see if anybody gets that. Orawea. These are some tiny towns, I think. So, whether or not I'll find them. 
Mm, who knows? I'm just going to do this and maybe come across it. Uh, oh, yeah, I did finish the book for this month. The Master and Margarita. Um, there's some... Maybe we're actually over here. Some interesting uh, revelations I've had with myself, and I just feel I'm way stupider than, you know, I say I'm dumb. I'm more dumb than I thought. Just how, like, I read this book, and I'm like, what the fuck did I just read? And then I got to do a uh, little bit of a research on it. I'm like, okay, what did I actually read? And it's like, oh, this book is famous. Everyone loves it. It's, you know, the favorite book of so many people and I just read it and I'm like all right oh oh hi oh how just didn't like grab me and maybe it's just because the type of books I like maybe I'm just not reading them like I should but again that's also part of how I'm approaching doing reading this this entire uh year where I'm just like finding books that other people seem to love and I'm giving them a shot and maybe this one isn't for me, but like the ability to retain things, like I'll, I'll read this, I'll read like the synopsis of it. Like, okay, I remember that happening. Oh, that was like, I'll have confusions as to where certain people were in the book. And then like, no, no, it actually was this person instead of that one. It's like, okay, that kind of changes things, but I don't know. It's not a bad book, I guess, if you're into that type of stuff, but I'm not a critic in any way. Let's see, did I get the Red Island? Where's this Tasmania? Okay, no, I got the Red Island. Oh, there's Clifton. Okay. I just kind of did a quick glance at that part of the... All right, this feels like Russia, Finland, or Estonia. This is just so out in the woods here. This will probably be the only sign I'm going to see. Rig meets. I feel like that's a double I like that. Can be like around here, I think. That's my only educated guess right now. If I had to lean, lean one country over the other, I'm going Finland right now. Ooh, I do have a road here. And I do have a sign back here. Can I? Rigi Mets? Rigi Mels? Like, I don't think any way I'm going to go is going to help me here. This would be a fun road to drive on. I like can do some rally racing around here. Okay, here's another sign probably saying the same thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe that means, like, post it or want it or I don't know. I'm just picking away, and this looks like it might actually develop into a non-dirt road, or at least a more inhabited road, when I looks like I made a good guess. As we've come to a farm thing. Lots of wood pallets here. What are you? Can't tell. All right, now let's look at these vehicles. That is an old ass Audi. Tanker truck doesn't help me. Give me, it's a very fancy mailbox you got though. Put some care into that. Is that blurred out? Hilarious. All right, hopefully I can get some more. <clears throat> this will probably just say yield. Whoa, that was a jump to some more higher def. Yeah, it just says yield. Should I go this way? I see a car. I want to see this car. It is a Renault. They are driving on the right side. I may have taken a wrong road here. Potentially. This is getting less and less developed of a road. And I may regret it. Come on. Like, I've, I've committed, and I really should just turn around. I doubt in that field out there it was just the flag of the country and a guy holding a sign saying, hey, you found the Easter egg. So we're going to turn back around. Get out to that road. 
I did not feel like I went this far out. Here we go. Okay. 50 seconds, man. That doesn't help me. All right, come on. Okay, I have another road here. Great. Um. Okay, 30 seconds. Is this a sign? No. Shit. I'm going to say Estonia. And be completely wrong. I'm okay with it. I've kind of panicked in these last few seconds. I mean, I could keep looking, but I don't think my ability to change to where I need to be is actually going to help. Well, I don't see ring mats anywhere here, so I did get the country right. I'm pretty happy with me sussing that out. And really, even with that, uh, Faroe Islands being a bit off, I did pretty well this time. Um, it's actually been a pretty good score week overall, and probably a good week if I had to generalize this week. But I got this video done. Now I got to edit it and upload it. I got to clean the house. I got to cook some stuff. It's a busy Thursday for me. But you enjoy your Friday. I'm going to try to too. Hopefully everything I've done tonight works out amazingly. And this time tomorrow, I'll be like, fuck yeah, weekend. Fuck yeah, three day weekend. Time to enjoy it. And I hope you do too. Come back on Monday for more guessing. If you guys, again, have any suggestions for maps or anything else, can be other games, can be other thoughts, can be anything. As I've said 16 million times, put them in the comments below, along with like, favorite, comic, subscribing, anything. You just put it down there. Thank you all again, and goodbye.